Hello. Well, uh, today I'm going to talk about a new film I recently got. Um, uh, Pre-ordered it uh, some months ago and um, <clears throat> came out this week and um, I watched it when I got it and um, it's been quite some time since I've seen it. Um, and uh, it's just a it's just a very good film and an excellent film even and um, one that I truly enjoy watching um, you know whenever it would be like on TV or wherever um, and that film is of course Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um, um, I think everybody pretty much knows <laughs> You know the story you know uh doctor you know is very much um it, he's just very interested in the ways of, like science and things to you know what can and can't be done basically in a way that people are like you know shouldn't you know meddle with uh separating you know good from evil within a person like separating two people uh, is how a lot of people put it you know it's just it, not good and uh it's just one of those things that he shouldn't uh attempt to do um but of course he does he creates uh, a drug uh you know medicine and drinks it and uh dr jekyll henry jekyll uh turns into Mr. Hyde and uh, Mr. Hyde of course is the bad side of Jekyll the evil side and uh, he goes and uh, predominantly you know um, uh, tells this woman um, Ivy who uh, is a bar singer and uh, is infatuated with her, especially since, you know, when Dr. Jekyll saw her, you know, and the guy was beating on her and he helps her to her room and then he does what he can to, uh, he's there to just basically like uh, help her, uh, make sure she's all right. And then um, she, really likes him, finds him to be a gentleman, and uh, she basically wants somebody like that in her life instead of guys who just are very abrasive and can be very, uh, get very physical with her um, when things don't always go the way they want. And um, when Hyde shows up, uh, you know, you know, she is frightened of him, and uh, he beats her and does uh, just is just overall terrible to her. And um, yeah, of course, based off of a book, obviously, uh, it's just a classic tale. And of course, Doctor uh, Jekyll or Jekyll, as actually it's pronounced, that is the way that the author. Robert Louis Stevenson. I wanted to make sure I knew his name. Um, he wanted to pronounce Jekyll, but in the all in the sound versions that exist, this is the only film that actually gets it right. Um, because you know everybody pretty much call calls him Jekyll, because you know when you look at a name, that's what it that's what it looks like it's pronounced. But you know it's Jekyll. Henry Jekyll in this film. And so, you know, uh, he's engaged to a woman named Muriel, or, or Muriel, who uh, is the daughter of a general, a brigadier gener general, and he wants to get married. And, uh, you know, throughout the film, you know, he wants them to have to wait, like, you know, like a total of 10 months to be married. You know, they've waited two months at the beginning and you know, have to wait eight more and 
you know, and the and while uh, they go away, the two like uh, Muriel and her father, they go away for like a month. And in the midst of this, that's when he really does his experiments to seeing if he can uh, get out the evil side. Or it's really what he wants to do is sort of like uh, get rid of like the evil side, see if he can do it. So of course, the evil side um, comes out and is horrible and terrible. And, um, you know, Dr. Jekyll knows uh, Jekyll. He, you know, he is aware and understands what all happens when he's. Mr. Hyde. Now, he doesn't like it, um, but, you know, he, it seems like he has it under control, because, you know, he does, uh, take the concoction he's created, you know, he drinks it a few times, and then afterwards he decides not to anymore, but then he realizes that he can't, you know, he actually does not have a a handle on this like he, it will like Mr. Hyde will come out of him whenever it's not uh, something that he can actually control and of course he is afraid of what will happen uh, <sighs> excuse me um, you know he uh just doesn't want the, you know, it becomes very apparent very quickly he does not want Mr. Hyde around, but, you know, it's like he can't really control it after a bit, and, you know, he goes to a colleague of his who gathers the things he needs, who, you know, the old doctor, and, you know, he, you know, has Mr. Hyde, and he tries to leave, but he can't, and, um, yeah, well, of course, you know, spoilers for those who are not familiar with the story, nor I've uh, seen this film. Um, though most f film adaptations are pretty much the same in terms of the story. It's just, of course, you know, de uh, depending on who's making it and who's playing the characters, it's, uh, you know, it's always like different, you know, in terms of a different uh, performance and direction style and all that, but Overall, it's over the same, and you know Ivy, you know, she goes to thank uh, uh, Doctor Jekyll after he uh, gives her money because you now he feels terrible of what he has done as Mister Hyde, and you know he tries to, you know, I'm gonna make sure that Mister Hyde will never uh, see you again. You know, he, she doesn't have to worry, but. Of course, later on, he, he shows up and he kills her. And it's after this, like, he goes and has his friend collect the things. And he goes to his place at it's Mr. Hyde. He then shows him at gunpoint when he won't let him leave. Basically, that he's Dr. Jekyll. Uh, Jekyll and he, uh, that in a way, like, you know, he was wrong, you know, he's, like, not into, you know, like, he's wrong, and, about things, and, of course, you know, that also frightens him, but also, he's like, you know, he, this just shows that you shouldn't be tampering with things beyond your control, and he's very uh, persistent, and the, they talk, and he's like, you know, he's gonna do what he can to stop this any way he can, and he's gonna break things off with Muriel. Um, of course, you know, the general also uh, gave a, his a blessing after a while of the two of them marrying earlier, and uh, expecting him they had like an engagement party, but you know that's when Mister Hyde uh, took over uh, for over Jekyll, and he realize he has no control over it and it's when uh, kills Ivy and uh, just just it's such a uh, it's just an amazing film and the story itself is obviously classic you know classic story um, uh, 
uh, it's been redone many times in terms of like you know being uh, readapted. Um, this is the first sound film uh, version of it. Um, uh, Rose uh, Hobart plays uh, Muriel. Uh, Miriam Hopkins plays um, uh, <clears throat> you know uh, uh, Ivy. Couldn't for some reason uh, kind of have a bit of a brain fart for no real reason. And of course, Frederick March is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And um, he won the Academy Award for Best Actor, making it the very first uh, horror film to win an Academy Award. Uh, very well deserved, and it's also the only time that uh, the, the Best Actor Oscar went to two people because he won and tied uh, against uh, Wallace Beery for the champ. And according to the rules back then, um, the reason the tie existed was because if somebody had, at the very most, like there's like somebody had up to three more votes than the other person, then that would be rule a tie for some reason. Uh, Frederick Murch had one vote over Wallace Beery, and with this rule, uh, you know, he, they both won. Had he had four votes over Wallace Beery, he would have been the sole winner. Um, now, Wallace Beery was uh, excellent in the, in the champ, too. Um, but, yeah, um... This film came out in 1931, but also 1932, you know, it had its premiere, um, had its uh, New York and Los Angeles uh, premieres and also like opened there in those two places in um, 1931, but uh, the rest of uh, America and other parts of the world in 1932. So, you know, this film is celebrating its 80th anniversary, uh, like, uh, domestically and also, I guess, internationally, um, uh, while also celebrating the 80th anniversary that it won the Academy Award for Best Actor for uh, Frederick March. Um, uh, it was nominated for two other uh, Oscars for Best Adapted Screenplay and uh, Cinematography. And uh, the makeup and the transitions that they had for Dr. Jekyll is, is, uh, into Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde is just fantastic. Um, you know, the first time it's like, you know, they had like this gel and this makeup over uh, uh, Frederick Marge on, on his face and like hands. And they had like a, or like, like a gel. Like, as soon as they, of course, it's black and white, but you have the gel over it it's like it's normal but then once you uh put another gel over like a red gel or i believe all of a sudden you can see it starts to get dark in the way they have like the lighting and everything it's just the transitions and the way that they were able to achieve uh the effect of him transforming was really incredible uh for 1931 1932 um, and it's just a very amazing way to see him transform, though, of course, the last time he transforms. Some might not be, like into Mr. Hyde, some might not be the most impressed, because it's kind of like he's just standing still, and they applied makeup, and they just have, like, a, sort of, like, still images, but, the, you know, even then, it's like, because it, the, the way they do it isn't so... It is a bit different at the end because they wanted to show just how because every time he turns into Mr. Hyde, all of a sudden he becomes even worse and worse, and he's also like more animal-like, and it's truly amazing just to see the transformation. And also Frederick March's performance is amazing. Um, in the beginning, one might think it's a bit theatrical, you know, it's nineteen thirty-one, nineteen thirty-two. Um, 
And again, it was still in the early days of sound, you know, uh, films. People were still getting used to acting on film with their voice being heard. You know, not so much of, you know, you're given the performance, but then there's going to be like little title cards intermediate here and there to say what was spoken. Um, his performance is excellent. Definitely deserving of the Oscar uh, that year. Um, I could actually see him perhaps being the sole winner, but, you know, he, the, the way that the Oscars were back then with the rules, you know, it's, that's fine. Plus, Wallace Beard was really good in the champ, too, so he can't really be all that upset over such a decision. Um, though it would have made more sense if he, uh, <laughs> actually, if they both had the exact same amount of, uh, votes but you know it's it is what it is um uh, i wanted to get this on dvd prior because you know they had the water archive collection of the dvd for some years um at this point but um this year they of course had the blu-ray and i thought i wait long enough plus the blu-ray wasn't too expensive um and uh, special features for this are as two commentaries, one with screenwriter, film historian, Dr. Steve uh, Heberman, and and, uh, and filmmaker, film historian, Custodine Nassar. And the second is uh, with author, film historian, Greg Mank. And there's also the Car Bugs Bunny cartoon, Hide and Hair, as well as a uh, November uh, 19th, 1950s uh, theater guild on the air radio broadcast so there's a radio broadcast version of uh dr G jekyll mr hyde or dr jekyll mr hyde um you know it this is an amazing uh film um of course 10 years after this uh there's a another dr jekyll and mr hyde film with uh spencer tracy um there's just so many uh versions of this film and um of course there's silent films uh, silent versions of this um but this has always a, been a movie of mine or a film of my uh, that i've always enjoyed um you know it's always been one of my favorites that's what i'm trying to say um and it's really uh, really good film you know classic story obviously so many people know of the gist of dr jekyll uh, mr Ider. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, even if you haven't seen or, or read the book, you know, you know of the story, even if you haven't watched any of the movies. Um, this is an excellent version. I think um, I've seen the Spencer Tracy version. I've seen some of the other versions, not the silent version, so I can't comment on those, but I've seen the ones with like sound and, uh, this has always been a favorite of mine. This is one I probably would put up as the best version, but that's me. I also think that uh, Frederick March is given the best performance. Spencer Tracy was really good, you know, he, but he was always a, a great actor anyway, as was Frederick March. Um, I can definitely understand and see why he won the Academy Award. Um, you know, sometimes people who receive Academy Awards, you know, it's either they should have won prior or, you know, and it's like a makeup or maybe they just weren't acknowledged before for whatever reason. So it's like, well, this might be their only time to win. So give it to them where somebody else was more worthy. Um, sometimes people don't win because of, you know, uh, Perhaps they're brand new, and so giving them an Academy Award so early could be like, you know, this could possibly be the peak of their career, and it's just started. So it's like, you know, kind of weary about that. It's like, maybe nominate them, but, you know, maybe in a few years, you know, if they continue to do great work and they're acknowledged again, then maybe they'll win. But, you know... 
this is an excellent film. I recommend it to anybody who uh, likes Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, you know, the book or any of the other films. This is one that I think is definitely uh, worth it. Um, um, this was a Paramount film, but, you know, Warner Brothers owns it now. Um, uh, it's interesting how some of the films that uh, Paramount uh, made went to different, you know, studios, such as, you know, Psycho is now owned by Universal for all the home media uh, uh, versions like the Blu-ray and DVD that I have of Psycho. That's uh, released by Universal. So and that was by, made by Paramount. This was made by Paramount, but it's been released by uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate for, you know, Paramount, but... I don't know. Uh, this happened long ago, but you know it's always interesting because you know, yeah, Warner Brothers here. This is, you know, WB and Archive Collection, and on the back has oh, Warner Brothers logo. But you know, and it doesn't even say you know, Paramount Pictures presents as Adolf Zucker presents. So like a like one of the. Uh, producers of the film and uh yeah but yeah and until you watch the film you don't really know it was made by uh, paramount originally but very good film um definitely deserving of the academy award it received and um you know, it would have been cool if it won uh, either cinematography or uh, adapted screenplay. But, you know, it won something. And, you know, uh, this is a film that deserved to win uh, an award, like uh, an Academy Award for March's performance. Um, yeah, that's really all I have. You know, I... Wanted to get this film for so long. I don't. It's one of those things where it's like you put off getting it for really no reason. You don't have uh, an actual reason. It just happens, and um, finally, when you do, you're kind of like, kind of like happy, but also kind of kicking yourself a bit. Perhaps like you know you should have gotten this before, but I guess in a way I'm kind of glad because then I got to get this on Blu-ray. Um. So that's always a plus um, to have like a, instead of wanting to upgrade um, after having like the DVD and it's like finally get the Blu-ray. Um, this uh, is a great uh, version. Um, while some, if you are interested in special features, might be a bit disappointed, I, the film itself is excellent and the cartoon that uh, appears is... Um, really good because you know it's Bugs Bunny and you know Looney Tunes so and a lot of people like Bugs Bunny so that's always a plus I haven't listened to the commentaries but um you know um maybe one day I will and I'll like also give the radio broadcast version of like the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde a listen just to see I, I did notice it was like 15 minutes long so or 51 so Shorter than the 96 uh, uh, minute version of the film. But yeah, um, that's really all I have to say. Um, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all having a great weekend. And I'll see you all next time.